race ball? No. It's a cat! A cat is a hide and seek in a race ball. Duh. Hello everyone! Welcome back to On The World Stage. If you are new here, my name is Marielle and I live in Japan. If you come to Japan, there's a lot of written English on t-shirts, on signs, on billboards, on store names. It's everywhere. But often, this English is not correct. So I have lived in Japan for two years and over the past two years, I have actually been collecting the funniest English I have seen in Japan. I have decided to share that English with all of you. Let's rate the funniest English I have seen in Japan. I will be rating these out of 10 points, uh, one being least funny, 10 being most funny. Okay, let's get started. I, I love this one, and yes, that is actually a picture of me. Um, when I first came to Japan. Not be careful of bees, but be careful of the bee. Who is the notorious bee? This kind of evokes the feeling that there is one bee in particular that is causing some mischief. I'm gonna rate this one a six. Yeah, this one gets a six from me. <laughs> I love this! I mean, this is great. I forgot about this. Auto Plaza Dank. Dank memes. I don't know like why it's called Dank. Dank is just I don't I don't know like what they meant by that or like why they chose that word. I'm gonna give Auto Plaza Dank a seven. Seven out of ten on my funny Japanese English scale. Good job. I think they meant that like this picture of the Onraisu, like this is like the picture is Wait, now that I've tried to explain what they mean, I actually can't articulate what they mean. Wait, do they mean like the picture's only an image, so don't expect just like this? Or do they mean picture is image? So do they mean like picture, picture is image, picture is image? Or do they mean picture is image? The more I talk about this one, it makes less and less sense. Okay, um, I will be giving this one a solid 8 out of 10 on the funny English scale. So, yeah, I'm, and I'm sorry that I couldn't figure out what it means. My bag life. Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? My bag life. Are you ready? I don't know if I'm ever going to be ready. I don't know, like, this one evokes the feeling of you buy a bag for the first time, like your first bag. And then, like, your identity has been changed. Like, your, your identity is now completely relating to this bag. Your life is no longer your life. When people ask about, like, Oh, how's your life? What, what is my life? What is my life? No, my bag life. You forgot a word, my bag life. The bag really changed their life to the point that they rebranded. They rebranded completely. On my funny Japanese English scale, like, I have to give this a nine. Like, it's just a great example of Japanese English, you know? Like it, it, it evokes such a strong feeling of, and you don't know what that feeling is, but you just want to go along with it and you want to like have your bag life. So I'm going to give it a nine. I remember the first time seeing this, it was around Halloween and one of my students like gave me this snack and I was on the train with my coworker and we were laughing so hard. The reason we were laughing at the time is the shape of this snack is round like a tube when i saw the shape of the snack and the name of the snack it immediately made me think cream colon which is actually disgusting i don't know like if they meant colon or colon or why they chose the name you always wonder like what went on in the room when you chose that name yeah i'm gonna be calling it a cream colon for the rest of my life and yeah, I gotta give this one a solid 7 out of 10 on my funny Japanese English scale because, like, looking back, remembering the moment that we first saw this just lifts my spirit, just, like, boosts my endorphins, so... <laughs> yeah, Cream Colon got a solid lucky 7. Quickle Handy.
Um, I, I'm not even, I can't, I, I can't say anything about this. Um, Twinkle Handy, you get a solid eight out of, eight out of 10, eight out of 10 on my funny Japanese English scale. I can just picture, like, I can just picture the commercial, like the way they would do this. Flowers. By Naked. Perfume or cologne style commercial, like, Flowers by Naked. I know exactly where I took this photo, Flowers by Naked. Nijo Castle in Kyoto. It's very elegant design, I think. Why are they called naked? It's like a very interesting word to choose. It's a lucky seven. Seven out of 10 on my funny Japanese English scale. Well done, congratulations, Flowers by Naked. Okay, I'm about to share this one. Knowing that this is from my favorite restaurant, I just want to say, <laughs> if you want to go check this out yourself, this beautiful description of French fries, please check out Mumokuteki vegan restaurant in Kyoto. I'm gonna read this in a dramatic reading. <clears throat> Organic french fries. The umami of the potatoes can be really felt in these. Slightly fancier than usual french fries. It's the, it's the slightly fancier than usual for me. It's almost like a diss at any other french fries. Are you other french fries? I'm like not as fancy as, as me. I'm slightly fancier than usual. It's also modest. Only slightly fancier than usual. It's not like they're hyping themselves up like We are the french fries. Like No. No, only slightly. Slightly fancier than usual. Because it is my favorite restaurant, and it's so tastefully written, that, that was not supposed to be, be a pun, but I'm sorry, like 9 out of 10 on the funny Japanese English scale. I should not have had tea before this one. I didn't know it was the next one. Oh my god. Wait, just like a little background on this. This has become a joke, like an inside joke amongst my my mom and my sister and I. We just don't even know like which part of this to focus on. I'm gonna have to do another dramatic reading of this one. Nostalgic Brown. I should read it as slam poetry. Nostalgic brown. Grandma, mama, daughter. 2019, autumn and winter. From mother to daughter. The clothes which continue being attractive even if over the time. I hope someday I'll be able to hand this over to my daughter with the sweet memories. Enjoy. Right, first of all, there's the name Nostalgic Brown, but is it like a name? Like Nostalgic Brown, is Brown the name? Or like, nos like Brown is feeling nostalgic? Or is Nostalgic Brown, like the color brown just evokes nostalgia? And if so, why? Grandma, mama, daughter. And some something about the use of the word mama really gets to me. It's like we had grandma and daughter, which are like, okay, that's the standard, but then mama. It was a choice. I respect them. From mother to daughter and daughter. Yeah, no, they changed it to mother. No, what happened to mama? It says from mother to daughter. What about mama? I thought it was grandma, mama, daughter. I want to note that mother is not capitalized, but daughter is. Could be a creative choice. Clothes which continue being attractive even if over the times. That makes sense to me. I hope someday I'll be able to hand this over to my daughter with the sweet memories. Okay, this is promoting like sustainable fashion. This is promoting like handing down clothes, recycling clothes. Okay, this is our first ever. Nostalgic Brown's getting a 10 out of 10 on the funny Japanese English scale. Nine out of 10. Nine out of 10. Strawberry fetish. Strawberry specialty shop. Oh my god! Get your minds out of the gutter. This is nothing more than a dessert shop that we saw in Osaka. Nothing, nothing from Osaka surprises me, so. 
strawberry fetish i'll give it a six six out of six out of ten guys i love this one wait i don't know if i have any more of these left i think i lost them all if you want to find the best i would the best funny japanese english in japan you must go to daiso daiso is a hundred yen shop like a dollar store at this shop they don't they seem to not to insult anyone who works in the product development department at daiso but they seem to not check any grammar or english whatsoever if you want to find like the funniest english you gotta go here and this is by far the greatest thing i've ever purchased british gentle poo and he has a hat and a bow tie like this is just everything that i stand for shout out to daiso for creating such a wholesome product i have to give british gentle poo a solid eight out of ten it's, it's fantastic and, and now i want to drink my tea moist with me oh for any of my japanese viewers watching for some reason a lot of americans like do not like the word moist i can't explain it if there's any scientific explanation for this someone please tell me but americans like, hate the word moist like people sometimes like ooh. also moist is not a verb you can't moist with someone yet this dog which i believe was from the disney store in kyoto does believe that moist is a verb and that we can moist together just for sheer confidence like i am going to give this dog what is this lady from lady and the tram a six i'm gonna give it a six out of ten on my funny japanese english scale okay this is a classic if you come to japan you can see this everywhere and it will bring joy to your heart in japan they have seemed to shorten the word sandwich to sand now they have done this maybe not thinking about the fact that sand is not particularly appetizing and has a completely different meaning beef sand or like pork cutlet sand egg sand vanilla cream sand when an american or like native english speaker sees this packaging they are imagining that they will open this package and their cookie will be completely crumbled into vanilla cream cookie sand that they will then have to pour into their mouth just for how normal it is, I'm gonna give it a 5 out of 10 on the funny Japanese English scale. Rice ball? No. It's a cat! A cat is a hide and seek in a rice ball. Duh. Okay, so if you look at the image on your left, um, there are two rice balls and then next to it, a cat that is a hide and seek in a rice ball. A hide and seek? I didn't know a hide and seek could like be an object, but apparently it can. All right, so the cat is a hide and seek, which I think means that it is in disguise. It is in a rice ball. So now I'm confused. Like, is the cat actually literally like inside of a rice ball or does the cat just look like a rice ball? Nine out of 10 on my funny Japanese English scale. And I still regret not buying these actually. I used to walk to this cafe in Kyoto and I would always pass this sign on my walk and I really don't know what's going on here. So we have a car driving and the car has a heart. The, this kind of evokes the feeling of like a like wink wink. Wink wink. And it seems that the car is like doing this wink wink at the bicycle. <gasps> I think I get it. Love bicycle tender. Love bicycle tender. Yeah, I think that these are instructions to cars that when they see a bicycle, don't drive over that bicycle. Love that bicycle. From a distance, wink wink. Love that bicycle tenderly and let it pass. I think it's a great message. I'm gonna give it a solid eight out of 10 on my funny Japanese English scale. Suntory boss is the boss of them all.
since 1992. I know that they mean that like they are the best coffee brand, but it's just like, it's like a threat. I mean, good thing I'm not a coffee drinker. Like I don't drink any coffee. If I was a coffee drinker, I think I would feel threatened into buying their coffee. And it's just not good to be pressured into doing things like that. So I'm afraid like if I don't give Suntory Boss a good score, that he will come get me. So um, I'm gonna give him a lucky number seven just to keep him happy. Th okay, this one, you already know this one's going to get a 10 out of 10 because this one actually like made international news, I'm pretty sure. I actually used to walk by this every day in Kyoto. It is from the Takashimaya. And the first time I saw it, I just was staring at it. Like something's not right with this. It's a punctuation problem. Rising again. Save the world from Kyoto, Japan. Okay, it kind of evokes the feeling of zombies. So, okay, we have like something rising. We have these images of fish. Are they fish zombies? Save the world from Kyoto, Japan. This sounds like a cry for help, in my opinion. Save the world from Kyoto, Japan. Kyoto, Japan is going to destroy the rest of the world. Like, please watch out for Kyoto, Japan. Like, watch out for her. She's gonna do something bad. I don't know what she did wrong. Like, apparently the rest of the world needs to hide. It actually sounds like Kyoto, Japan is something we should be worried about. So, yeah, I'm giving this a 10 out of 10 because this was, like, so funny when I would walk by it every day. Don't sleep on that punctuation. Hello, everyone. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you could laugh and enjoy that as much as I did. If you would like to see more of the funny Japanese English that I found in Japan, just follow me on my modeling Instagram. I have a highlight that I sometimes update. I am not making fun of Japanese people for the English that they use here. For foreigners think it's really funny and actually enjoy seeing it. Also, we know that in Western countries, many people have very silly kanji tattoos and use Japanese completely wrong on t-shirts, on signs too. So we know that it goes both ways. I just wanted to mention that if you are not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe. I have a lot of exciting content coming soon. If you want to get updated on my new videos, please hit subscribe and hit the little bell button to get alerts of my new videos. That really helps me grow this channel, so I'd really appreciate it if you did. Thank you so much for watching as always, and I'll see you next time. Arigatou gozaimashita! Mata ne!